There's concern about a prosecutor shortage in Wisconsin. And a Dodge County District Attorney is now resigning because of it. NBC 15's Tyler Peters joins us now. Tyler, you had a chance to speak with the Dodge County DA about why he is making the decision to leave behind a vacant seat. Yeah, John, Dodge County DA Kirk Klomberg says his office has, quote, effectively collapsed and soon will have zero attorneys working full time. This has been truly one of the most difficult decisions of my life. A decision Dodge County District Attorney Kirk Klomberg didn't want to make. I couldn't uh, commit that, uh, that level of malpractice uh, that I knew would happen if I tried to do that on my own. There are currently 48 vacant assistant district attorney positions in Wisconsin, making up for 10% of budgeted positions in the state. It's what Klomberg says is extremely damaging to the criminal justice system. The prosecutor shortage is statewide. Uh, it is causing the delays in cases, uh, an increase in backlogs, and uh, not being able to move cases forward. The ramifications of these backlogs and delays can threaten public safety. If there isn't a prosecutor to review that case, within 48 hours that person is going to be released from jail. There will be no one to prosecute the case. There will be no criminal charges. There will be no accountability, and that person will continue to uh, be out in the community without any consequences. The shortage is a result of low wages and non-competitive pay. The number one reason right now is the fact that we cannot attract new prosecutor talent at the uh, wages that are being offered. Klomberg says raising attorney pay will be proposed in the state budget and urges it needs to happen soon. It has to happen this year. Uh, if we wait another two years for another another cycle, uh, the system is going to be even in dire, more dire straits. Tomorrow is Klomberg's last day as Dodge County DA after 12 years, and he starts a new position as an assistant attorney in Green Lake County tomorrow, or next week rather. In studio, Tyler Peters, NBC 15 News.